Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. Just down here at Nelson Bay Breakwater today. Gonna show you how to catch a few broom on bait. We've just got some prawns, cooked prawns to use for bait. I'm gonna show you how to rig up and show you how to catch a few. Here's the rig we're using today. Just a size nought sinker. Going onto a size four suicide hook. Just a running sinker. Straight to the hook. Six pound FC rock fluoro carbon straight through. That's all you need, just enough weight just to get the bait down. If there was no current, I'd probably go no weight, just a floating bait here off the wall. Just depends how much current there is. If there's a bit more current, you probably have to go a bit heavier. All right, let's see if we can get a few. All right, we've just got some prawns here for bait. This is how we chop up the prawns for brim. You can get a few baits out of them just using the size two hook. Just chop their head off as one bait. Just into another chunk, then another chunk like that. That's four baits there you can get out of a prawn. You don't need to use a whole prawn, you only need enough to cover the hook. You don't want a hundred fish picking at your bait at once with a big prawn. At least with one size bait, the brim just come up and just scoop it down in one go. And that's what you're aiming for, so then you get a good hook up. That's all you need, it's just chunks like that. Works perfect. Got all the bait cut up in the perfect little chunks for the size two hook. As you can see there, it's just the perfect fit. Peel the shell off. Just hook it through. Back out. Through the other side, just like that. Sink it straight onto the hook. Nice little bait for them just to swallow down hole. The rod I'm using today is just a Timberwolf 6 foot 6 stealth rod. Just with a Shimano 1000 size reel. 6 pound FC rock. Fluorocarbon all the way through. That's all you need, just a nice light setup. Have a bit of fun. You could probably go a bit of bigger rod just to get over the oysters and that kind of stuff to hold your rod out when you get a fish. but. It's just fun using lighter rods and that anyway. And what you want to do, we're fishing here on a run out tide. The last of the run out, like the last hour is the best time here off the wall. Because it's starting to slow down the tide, it's not as strong. And it's coming from that way across, so you want to throw upstream a little bit. And let it go down, give it a chance to sink down. get it out there and then as you let it go down just let out line I like to leave my bail arm flicked over like that just so if they grab it I can let them take a little bit of line before I hook them getting some good bites out here it's just hard to fish with the wind blowing in your face leaves a big bow in your line but Still catching fish, good overcast day, good tide, and there's been plenty of brim around this time of year, which is just the start of October at the moment. Here we go, getting the run, there he is, just running with it, should have that by now. Yep, we got him. Oh, he's a good fish too. Oh no, he's not as big as I thought, but he's alright. Oh, he's trying to get me on the oysters. Another brim there. Taking on a bit of cooked prawn. Not a bad sized fish. Alright, let's get him back in the water.
He's out of there. Oh yeah. Nice brim. Very nice size brim. It's a better fish. Nice brim there. Taking on a piece of cooked prawn. Not a bad fish at all. Get a quick measure on him. Just over 32 centimetres. Not a bad fish. Let's get him back in the water. He's out of there. So we cast it out there. Let it sink down a bit. It's pretty basic fishing. You just bait up, throw out. Let it sink down, have your bail arm flicked over ready. And when one grabs it, let him go for a bit of a run. Flick over the bail arm and you're on. Oh, Shane's got a nice fish here. Peeling line. Oh, look at that. It's a nice brim. It's a very nice brim. Oh. Oh. Just got smashed while I was looking at his brim. Oh, I've got a good one myself. Oh no! Oh. What's going on down here? That. Quick, <laughs> come over here. Look at that brim that Shane just got. Nice size fish. I just picked up that nice size fish. Nice size brim there, 36 centimeters. We just got to hold him because we don't want him to fall down the break wall. All right, get him back in the water, Shane. Nice fish, 36 centimeters. Get him back. Thirty-three centimetre, another thirty-three centimetre brim that I just picked up there on a bit of prawn. Let's get him back in the water. He's out of there. All right, I'll show you how I like to bait up a prawn head. It's full of all the guts and juice. Brim, just love him. Straight there, just put it straight from the back in between its eyes. So it comes out there like that in between its eyes, the hook. Pull the hook all the way through. Like that. And then just hook it through the side. Bring it back out. Hook it through the, back through the other side. Like that, pull it up tight. And there's the sinker with it. And you just got a nice bait there. Big hook up. Big hook up. It's peeling line. Go. That's a good fish. Oh. That's just peel and drag. <laughs> Holy hell. That's a big one, man. Nice brim. It's not huge, it's a good one, but he's just fighting good, eh? He won't give up. Here he comes. Hope he stays on. Yeah. Another nice fish. Another 32 centimetre fish there. It's 31s, we've had 32s, 33s. The biggest today so far is 36. But plenty over the 30. Goes to show it's a good technique to catch them. Light line, light weighted baits, just a little sinker, a little hook, just enough bait for them to scoff it down in one go. 
There we go, nice 33 centimetre fish. Goes to show the technique works good. Nice light weights, little baits. Just float it down on some light line. Catch a nice brim like that. Let's get him back in the water. He's out of there. All right, got the bait out there. Bail arm flipped over again. Oh, here we go. This is a big one, look at that. That's peeling. Either that or he just hit hard. Yeah, he's running. All right, he's got that. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, he's not as big as a fort, it's still a nice sprint. They're just fighting hard, eh? Just fighting so hard. Look at that, another nice brim there. Another nice brim there taking on a bit of prawn. He's still a good sized fish. And he just hooked in the lip. Oh look at that, fell out. They're just thick and fast in here at the moment. Let's get him back in the water. This year, September and October, the brim have just been so thick in here. Like even the luderick, there's just the biggest schools of luderick and then underneath them just big schools of brim. Just been so many fish along this wall. Like luderick and brim everywhere. Like the brim have just been so thick. This is the middle of the day where we're fishing now at the moment too. Not early in the morning, not late in the afternoon. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the middle of the day. Yo, what up guys? Just had a good session down here on the break wall here at Nelson Bay today. Caught some good brim, plenty of fish, a few good ones in the 30, the biggest was 36 centimetres, but there was plenty of action. Hope you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Alright, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Sticky fishing fishing.